Welcome to another video. In this one I show you how to clean your printer cartridge, especially the black ink printer cartridge, the most used one. This is the cartridge you would mostly use in an inkjet printer. Even if you have color in it, you will most of the time print a lot of black text and that uses the black printer ink cartridge. And the way to do it on the Canon printer this is my printer and I open the printer ink door, wait for the cartridges to get parked and then I can open the cartridge. In this case this is the black cartridge 540 BG Canon. You see it's pretty dirty here, it's didn't, it wasn't used in a while and the ink gets dry on the cartridge. Also a problem could be that there is a burn contact and when that happens there is not much to do than other than replacing the cartridge with a third party third party ink cartridge or a original cartridge it's up to you but there is a possibility that it's just a blocked ink so that's easy to fix relatively depending on how bad it is 540 Canon this is the cartridge, so first I will check if the ink flows at all with a paper towel. One easy fix that you might try really first is to really just fill up the cartridge and if that doesn't work, this is one of the more advanced fixes using distilled water, just iron, ironing uh, water or battery water you can find it in the supermarket. And here I was still trying the cartridge and now I have the boiled distilled water and I insert the cartridge in the hot water in the first is the cool, cool water not very hot and on the left side just to get it used to the temperature it's a bit warm but not really hot and then I insert it in the hot one in the hot water the idea with the hot water is that it will dissolve the ink faster than regular water. You could try first room temperature water and do the same thing with the these napkins, trying trying to see if the flow, if the ink flows out of the cartridge. This is important that there are no interrupted lines there. And here it's starting to get better in the hot water. So I'll keep doing it. Also added more ink to the cartridge and there is this tool that you can also use. It's one of the other ways to unclog the printer cartridge. You insert ink into the cartridge and you pull out the ink through this device, it's a suction cup and it will uh, pull out the ink through the cartridge. This is also one more chance to unclog the printer ink cartridge. And it's getting better as you see, it's the ink starts to deposit below the cartridge. And here I'm, when I'm I put the new one on the right side, it's the hot water and I, as you see it gets a little bit better every time. If that doesn't do it, you could go to the next level, isopropyl alcohol mixed with a little bit of water, something like 50-50 isopropyl alcohol and water, or 30% water, 70% isopropyl alcohol, and 
you can use 100% isopropyl alcohol really. The only thing is if you use 100%, 99% isopropyl alcohol, make sure you don't let it dry once you remove the cartridge from the alcohol. It could uh, make the ink clog the cartridge even more if you do that. But if it's mixed with 50% water, it's much easier to deal with it like this. The isopropyl alcohol really will dissolve anything that is left from the cartridge and you can even use the window cleaner W5 from Lidl here but there is also any any window cleaner that has ammonia in it um, should be should be good to use but really any window cleaner that you have at this point you have nothing to lose you might as well try the um, your favorite window cleaner and see if that helps you in some way before you have to buy a new cartridge it's worth it to try this using the suction cup with a syringe to pull out the ink even more and this was really i mean i pulled out most of the ink from there now the lines are getting straight so this is what i wanted to see the lines they are not interrupted anymore and that's really looking great so one final refill for the ink cartridge about six millimeter of ink black printer ink and you see the line is very there is a little bit in the middle it's not ideal but it's much better than it used to be you can just go back to the beginning of the video and you see how bad it was at the beginning now it's much better so I might as well try to check to see if it's working. Before that, I have to clean the contacts, make sure there is no water there. Also, on the nozzles below the ink cartridge, no water. And there is the, the filling, refilling ink. You might want to cover it with something breathable, a piece of, just a piece of tape and if you don't cover it it's fine for testing reinserting the reinserting the printer cartridge and yeah this is the moment to see if it really changed anything that's the old one it might take a bit of time to improve your printing but okay in my case here it got a, a little bit better a little better <laughs> But it was still not not great, so either either I would have to get a new cartridge or I keep going, keep trying to unclog it. But at this point, I was already thinking about getting a laser printer, a small one, so that because if you spend you don't spend a lot of printing, you print once in a while, very rarely, the ink always dries, but the laser doesn't. The laser printer will always work when you turn it on, no matter how or less often you use it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you. You can also check these contacts and clean them if you have any issue there. Hope this helps someone.